Hey, what up, guys? This is Tej, and today I'm gonna give you an example how you can create your own featured Nazar within the help of Phoenix and Java. So, for that, you are required to download two files. Uh, I'll provide the links down below. From there, you know, you will be able to get those files. So, go check out the site and download those files. And the next thing is that there should be Java installed inside your system. And the third thing is that you should be having the kind of attitude to write your code. So, just make sure you know you're gonna have all of these things and so i all the done with the kind of creating a new project so i'm just gonna add those child files that i was talking about so yes these are the main four files that you would be able to find inside this lib directory once you are done with the kind of Spanx. so add those child files and okay uh, the one thing that i would like to tell is that when you're done with the downloading at the time you would be having the kind of CSAPI uh, application file you can set a file inside this lib directory so make sure you're gonna double click on that and you know just it's gonna result into this kind of jcpi.jar so we are required to work with this four files and now I'm gonna create a kind of a new file it's not as a class file or we can say a jar file and I'm gonna give it a name like hello world I'm not going to write the code but we're gonna take the help from Spenix. So yes, this is the hello world example that's been provided by Spenix. And I'm gonna paste it over here. Okay, we are done with the pasting. And the next thing is that we are required to put it inside this packet. Okay, we are done with that one too. Now there are a few other things like files like the main fist or hello world of configuration and the build file that we are required to copy this. And we're gonna paste it inside this folder and we're gonna make sure that this configuration file should be within this java file okay now we are going to run it we are required to run it with the configuration because we are required to provide a kind of a you know external hip memory for that because when you are going to run with this example you won't be able to execute it because the kind of a basic or default memory that's been provided by the java virtual machine that won't be sufficient to run this kind of project so we are required to provide the external memory for that and okay this is it we are done with that and okay everything is ready so we're gonna run it oops it gave us kind of errors okay but yeah we forgot to put the kind of grammar file which is the one of the most important file from it's going to grab the tokens so we're gonna take the copy of this grammar file we're gonna take copy and we're gonna paste it inside this folder uh, where our class file is being there so we're gonna keep it with our class files so that's it we're gonna try to run it once again hello philip Good morning, Philip. Hello, Will. So, congratulations, guys. You are done with this Phoenix, and you know, with the help of this, you are done with the first product. Or you can use your own code. You can use your own ideas to develop some other kind of stuff, as I was done in my, in my previous video, like opening the stuff, like the browsers and the control panels and command prompt, and all these kind of things. You can implement your own stuff. So congratulations for that, you are done with this. And at the end I would like to say like I would like to thank to the Carnegie Mellon University and the kind of Sun Microsystem and the Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratory for providing uh, such a great example like this. And so this is it for now. So thank you very much and if you have find any kind of problems with this, let me know if I could help. So thank you, this is it for now. Take care, bye bye.